Hey ya, uh, it's Gina. Welcome back to another video. And today's video, I will be reviewing my Ipsy Glam Bag for the month of March. So if you guys liked my previous Ipsy Glam Bag review, and if you guys want to see my future one for next month, then give this video one big thumbs up and subscribe. And with that, we'll get right to it. Before I begin, please note that everything that I get in my Ipsy Glam Bag may differ to someone else because this is on my preferences and what I like personally because when you go on ipsy.com you can set up your profile when you subscribe to them so you can set up your different preferences and get different items based on what you like. Alright so for my Ipsy Glam bag the first thing we have is this Korean skincare snail secretion cream. Um, I'm going to read on the Ipsy site about it. It is from Ladykin and it's called Authentic Snail Cream. And yes, they say Ladykin is a Korean brand and also says don't get grossed out but this contains snail secretion. Um, that snail stuff helps to heal damaged skin, boost elasticity, and leave your complexion smooth and hydrated. Plus. This cream also protects from irritants and prevents water loss. Snail cream for the wind, people. So I just zoomed you guys in a little closer so you can see me applying the snail secretion ladykin for the first time. And I have not touched any of the products in my Ipsy Glam bag. I haven't opened any of them. So this is going to be a try on also. And I want to take the leftover on the top. And I'm going to use that to apply on my skin first. And as you haven't guessed already, my skin is bare. I'm trying to smell it. There's no like really smell, which is nice if you're like allergic to fumes. So I will be using this as moisturizer for the next couple of days and see how this performs. It, it makes my skin kind of tacky feeling, which is good because that means you know your foundation is going to stick to your skin. Kind of like tacky glue for your eyelashes. So next I have this City Color Cosmetics Photo Chick Dark Spot Corrector and I'm just reading off the website. Dark circles? What dark circles? Thanks to its peachy hue, this acts as a color corrector, counteracting any blue and purple tones in your under eye area. I'm going to go ahead and put this color corrector on. I'm not too familiar with color correcting. Oh, do you use a brush to apply this or can you use your fingers? Well, I'm using my fingers. so. It's not very orange color as I usually see for other color correctors. It's like a really vibrant orange color. Again, this is a first impression. This is my first time touching this product. Before I move on into the next stuff, I'm just going to go ahead and put on my foundation and then I'll showcase the other stuff. I put on the rest of my makeup because the other one is just a blush and I also got a lipstick so for my blush and I'm gonna go ahead and read what it says on the website okay so DLS stands for dirty little secret cosmetics and I have not opened it so I'm gonna go ahead and open it on camera oh. A blush, kitty pink is what they call it. First time opening it up. Okay. And I'm just going to use one of my normal brushes. I'm going to apply this blush on for you guys. And it's a nice, it is a nice peachy color. Looks really good. Because for my skin, since my skin is not like super pale or like super dark. I don't like super bright or super dark blushes, so this is a very nice in-between color. 
It looks pretty good, Ash. I'm surprised. I didn't expect it to look this nice. I was expecting it to be like more of a neutral color, like closer to my skin tone, but Ipsy picked this out pretty well for me. And I'm going to go ahead and read what it says on the website. This dusty peach shade looks gorgeous on any and every skin tone. It's perfectly blendable and buildable, so you can pack it on for a more concentrated color or dust on softly for a sheer finish. And I will be using this in the future, along with the snail cream and the color corrector to see how it performs. Okay, so the next thing that I got in my March glam bag from Ipsy is this Tartiste lip paint in color delish and it says quick dry matte lip paint so they claim to not be too matte and they claim to not be too glossy like lip gloss and my issue with liquid lipstick when they say it's matte it crumbles on my lips and everything and I have not used it or anything I'm going to swatch it right here It goes on pretty nicely, so. Oh wow, that is really creamy. Dang. I didn't expect that to be really creamy. I'm just going to use my handy dandy palette that I have as a mirror. It's kind of hard to grip it because it's so small. But that's because it's a sample size, so of course. Wow, I'm surprised how well that went on. It is drying pretty quickly. Well, right now it doesn't look really matte. It doesn't look really glossy. It does look that in-betweenness. We'll see if it dries down more matte in a few minutes. Okay, so while we're letting that dry, I'm going to talk about the contents of the bag that I got it in. It's a very nice peachy looking color and it was folded down like this. It's a much bigger bag than last time so I can fit my bigger brushes in it. And again, each month you always get a different kind of bag so you can always reuse these bags when you're traveling and whatnot. So it's very good investment for that. And what came in the bag were all those products that I showed you guys. Plus I got this brush which I haven't used yet. So I'm just gonna take it out of the package the first time. Scone Cosmetics. And this is a Lux Pro blending brush. Not touching it right now, it is pretty soft, so it's nice. Then fun fact, the brand name means beauty in Afrikaans. And lastly, I got this card. It says, you are beautiful. And while I'm holding this up, I'm going to read what it says on the back. So it says, pretty is as pretty does. Share this card with someone who could use a little love. Like good if you want to like frame it for your vanity. Okay, so I zoom you guys in a little bit closer so you guys can get a little taste of what this tart sample looks like after it's dried down. Okay, my lips do stick together. A little bit, not entirely. It's not like glued shut or anything. But yes, it does look matte good for them and it does not look like it's getting all crumbly so far yep overall everything in my ipsy glam bag was perfect great for my skin I loved everything so if you guys want to see what's in next month's ipsy glam bag then subscribe and stay tuned and if you like this video give this video one big thumbs up and I hope to see you guys in the next video bye